Okay, we are back with game number two. Let's roll. We are up against Numaras on the draw again. That's a pretty... It's okay, like against aggressive deck we have this. Against control we have a lot of power and a discard spell. I think I like it enough. There's the aggro. I was talking about this card helps a bit here, disrupting the curve. Oh yeah, definitely need to take the brigand. They're gonna hurt us a lot. Yeah, brigand is our biggest enemy, I think. There's an argument for taking the outlaw to disrupt the curve, or taking the yeti so he can't go double ages, but yeah, in the end. I think Brigant is a bigger deal, and taking the Outlaw is kind of bad with the setback coming up. And yeah, I think I'll just pop the Aegis here and pass. And playing the second Justice to make it seem less likely that we have a second Shadow and the setback. But it doesn't really matter too much, but might as well like not show him the second Shadow if it's free. Brigant? It's actually kind of unfortunate. I would like to take 8 here and then set back all 3. This is definitely worth for us. And yeah, we can't really take 10 here. Take that next turn, so we'll just do this. And hope next turn with call and stuff we can set something up. If this was a harsh rule, that would be a lot better for us here. I'm gonna hope for a favor or an Annihilate in this. Annihilate is actually quite good here. The thing is... Hmm. We could poster Annihilate, which is kind of good. I think I like that best. Call was like the other consideration to just dig for something, but yeah. Getting the poster out of the way is pretty good. Now we are flooding a bit more than I would like. But yeah, we are on 16. He is color screwed. So it's actually looking quite good. Yeah, I think sword is better than another merchant here. Then doing this. And getting it half rot. Seems pretty good. This half rot is what beats Skycrack. So if you get to the early game like this, then the matchup's actually quite good. And Vara is also quite good if you can get the permafrost out of the hand first and stuff like that. Alright, a whole lot of wanted posters. And yeah, no need to attack. Don't take unnecessary risks. And opponent dead to Tavrot. But yeah, being screwed on second fire is rough and we are in the top 10 again. Like still doing some work. And yeah, Tavrod gives you like a nice punishment for weak draws of the opponent. Like if the opponent has a weak draw, you just drop a Tavrod on five and decks like Skycrack just can't beat it if they are not a not way ahead at that point. Alright, that's it for game number two. We are two and doing pretty well. And yeah, see you in a moment with game number three.